Simon, I'd imagine a pretty frustrating night for most of it. What do you put the performance down to? Uh, yeah, frustrating is one word, but you know we just got beaten by a very good team. Um, you know they beat us in all phases of the game, and um, you know, they were stronger, they were cleaner, they transitioned the ball better, and they defended better. So that makes the game pretty tough. So for us, you know we walk away, um, and we've got some work to do. But we've also acknowledged internally for a few weeks now that we're probably not playing to the level that we think we're capable of, and we have got work to do, even though. You know, we're sitting 4-1 at the point coming into tonight. We always knew that we had work to do, and tonight we got exposed. Beating the clearances early and a lot of the night. Um, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, what's what that down to? Yeah, look, obviously, you know, they're a pretty talented group in there, and it's one of their strong things in their game that they're very good at. And, you know, they punished us tonight around the ball. I thought they were certainly harder. They tackled better. Um, they won the spilt ball better. Um, so they did a lot of things right and that gave them the territory that they needed, especially early in the game. And they were able to capitalise on the back of that territory. So um, we knew that if you give them that sort of territory and you give it to the talented forwards that they've got, um, they generally punish teams and that's what they did tonight. The lines have been harder is fatigue the factor there from the shorter breaks in the last few weeks? Uh, look, it, it probably didn't look like us tonight in all phases of the game. Um, three games in 13 days is a lot, you know, obviously with some travel involved as well, but I wouldn't want to put that out there as an excuse for us um, and take anything away from the Lions. I thought they were terrific and, um, you know, every team goes through those little challenges within their, within their season uh, and the fixture that you're provided with and you can't use those things as excuses. You, you know, when you rock up, you, your job is to perform as a footy club and, and we didn't do that tonight. How badly did you miss Cosy? Well, he's a, he's a good player that wasn't playing. So, um, you know, I think we all see what he gives our footy team. His, his pressure, his tackle, his inside 50 ability to hit the scoreboard. And, yeah, no doubt when you, when you take a, you know, because I pick her out of your team, you're going to have some challenges. And um, he's an important player for us and it showed tonight. You obviously made some changes going into the last quarter, especially around the ball. What did you say to the group at three-quarter time to generate a bit of energy around the footy? Yeah, we probably made some shifts in the game around sort of probably early, you know, probably six or seven minutes into the third quarter. We discussed them at half time and then, you know, obviously early in the third, it didn't quite look like us again. So we pulled the, the trigger on a few things to, to try and change the look of the game. You know, Rivers going into the midfield, um, Clayton going to half back and just really at three quarter time, it was about let's just try and play our best quarter of footy in the way that we want to be seen as a, as a footy club and the way we want to play. And you know, once again, to the players' credit, they, they responded again. Um, and you can never doubt that about this playing group. Um, they're a proud playing group. Um, they're a competitive group and they want to have success and, and perform well. And um, three-quarter time, they, they weren't happy with how the game was sitting. So they had their best quarter of footy for the night in the last quarter, which was pleasing to get something out of the game. How much did Salem going out of the game early hurt you? Yeah, look, once again, he's an experienced player in the back half of your ground. So um, he'll be out. You know, we'll get that scan, but he'll be out for a little bit of time. Obviously, a hamstring, so we'll get a, a good idea on what that looks like. But clearly, missing a guy like that in your back half, um, you know, you become pretty inexperienced behind the ball. How does uh, Harrison Petty look like he copped a bit of a sled in that fourth quarter? Did he? No, I didn't. Didn't see it. What, what happened? Uh, a bit of a crybaby sled yeah. from the Lions probably ask Fags when he comes in, that's up to them. Done.